handful of members were there in 1984 to celebrate the 50th anniversary dinner and the acknowledgement of the club by Senator Chafee and Ms. DeMello, who had served with distinction for decades as president. So the club sat there, alone, in the shadow of Interstate 195 that reshaped the destiny of Fox Point for future generations of Cape Verdeans. First they said they wanted to build a Catholic school, you know, and they were going to, they wanted to do this, they wanted to do that. And through all these years they've never done nothing on it, all the people moved away from nothing. The Holy Rosie has the uh, parking lot facing Travis, they have the parking lot facing uh, Brook Street, and they have across the street. Down the street from the Owl's house was the Three Lantern Bar. After it was condemned in the late 1960s, Uncle Bobby and his friends reoccupied the bar. It was reborn as Poor People's Park, the unofficial refugee camp for Cape Verdeans who still lived in the point and those who had been displaced. Uncle Charlie, my cousin Charlene, Toddy and Al Pereira and Manny Perry played deep chords that would make your heart cry. And we were crying because we knew we were losing the point. Poor People's Park was bulldozed in the early 1970s. Manny Almeida's Lounge was the Cape Verdean's last stand on Wickedon Street. It was Cape Verdean turf, where the worlds of the longshoremen and locals mingled with students from nearby Brown University. But the negative perception from Brown University and the wealthy people on the east side about Manny Almeida's, and by extension the Cape Verdean community, was a deadly combination. Brown had, somebody in Brown had put out the story, and I don't think it was all of Brown, that Fox Point was very hostile towards students and they wouldn't be nice to him. And as far as I can remember, all the students that came down, everybody was nice to him. Everybody was nice to the students. Because a lot of kids were from away, away from home. And, um, I, you know, you ask anybody, any of the kids came from Brown, even those that are, that are grown now, married and everything else, they never had any problems with Fox Point. And we never, as kids in Fox Point, we never had no problem with the people up on Cook Street and all those houses up there. They were wonderful to us. The wealthier people, we used to go there Christ for Christmas and sing our uh, content there, do Christmas carols and stuff. And they would give us all kind of uh, gifts of fruit and everything. Oh, they were wonderful to us. And I wouldn't say anything bad about them. They were just wonderful. But the way they made it sound like it was them and us, and that wasn't true at all. The community lost the tug of war between Brown University Interstate 195, Historic Preservation, Providence Redevelopment Agency, and Holy Rosary Church. After Manny Almeida's closed in the early 1980s, Wickedon Street became quiet. Now the Brown University is taking over now. All these little fancy shops on uh, Wickedon Street, coffee shops and uh, antique shops. And the old times could come back, they wouldn't believe what was going on. You know what gets me so mad is now, the other day, this, now they call Fox Point the Lower East Side. And I told them, I said, this is not the Lower East Side, this is Fox Point. I said, I've been born and raised in Fox Point, you know? They call it the Lower East Side. We all tried to hang on. And Pat and Uncle Charlie were forced to move and they went to East Providence. At their house, Uncle Charlie, as usual, got the music going, but it didn't feel right. It just didn't feel right. Ay, que nunca no contraba, papa sufriba, esta sufri. Nya tristeza, catacaba, nunca me esperaba, si bo pai se despedi. Today the Boys Club, now the Boys and Girls Club, is the lonely survivor of the Cape Verdean community in Fox Point. You know, as, as Bobby was talking, I couldn't help but remember when I first became mayor back in 1974, there was 
a real celebration that went on, and it had to do with the uh, dedication of the Fox Point Boys and Girls Club. And I said something there that I never thought that would hold true for 30 more years, or certainly 25 more years, certainly through three decades. And that was that Fox Point would continue to be an example after all these years of people living together from different backgrounds, different races, different heritage groups, and still sharing in a commonality of good neighborliness. And that's what Fox Point, I think, means to me. On April the 4th, 1998, Pike Street has been changed to Alg's Way. We were the oldest family in Fox Point, and we were the only family living there. They decided that it would have been nice if it been named Alves Way after the family, and we appreciate every I don't, I don't know, but I. I prayed a lot, Aiki, and I prayed to win the big money. If I ever won a hundred million bucks, I would bring my people back to Fox Point. Good friends, God is the great and the only builder. Unless the Lord builds a house, those who build build in vain. So we ask your blessings, Father, on my niece, Claire, who you put that planted this seed in her mind to bring this project to a successful conclusion. We ask you to bless her and to bless all of those here who have helped her in this endeavor. Hi, Claire. As I said last night, all praises come to God. And I thank him very, very much for his putting all this uh, beautiful thoughts in your mind and let it, letting it come to, to pass. I thank you for this opportunity, my brother Flash and I being there for a very special night. You take care, and the peace of the Lord be with you and all around you. So long for now, and God bless.